I never use condoms. Never? Never. My dick was unprotected. Oh baby, I like the girl. No condom though. Like, I know a couple dudes that was kind of like that. They never wear a fucking condom. They ain't get eight. Welcome up on the podcast, episode 6-6. Six, six. Is this 6-6? Six, six? Yeah. 6-6-6. Six, mm. six, six. So uh, I, I want to start off with, uh, with a gem. So uh, one thing that, like, uh, I really don't go to the bar uh, very often now, but, like, uh, the times uh, when, when I was going out to the bar, I tried out this thing where uh, I'd ask girls to, to buy me a drink. I would say, hey, I, I kind of know she's checking out my belly. You know, uh, maybe you want to buy me a drink. Now, I, I noticed trying this out in a social experiment of, like, with different girls and seeing how things work. It's a, it's a win, win, win. Because of the three reactions that you can get, either the girl says no, and she's kind of like, what, I'm going to buy you a drink? But you, she'll remember you then. But, 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 but you don't want, like, <clears throat> if she has an attitude about it, you don't even want to deal with that girl. So, no, you don't. So, but so, so, so you already realize that, that girl will remember you though. Like, yeah, girls who get hit on all the time, they remember the people that make an impression. It's like uh, yeah. when Mindbender was on our show. He's a porn star, right? Yeah. But he was like, we were talking about thirsty people in social media comments, mm -hmm. and he was talking about this one image he saw once, and I was laughing so hard because he's like, so is this girl? She's half naked, like on a beach, right? And it's probably like thirty-one thousand likes, whatever, right? But this one guy comments, and he's like. Oh, is that the something something building I see there? Like message, just commenting completely off topic of like all these guys are like, oh, yeah. you're gorgeous, oh, nice boobs, I like all this yeah. like creep shit, and this dude's just like, yo, is that like the leaning tower of Pisa? Seen like you no, know, that yeah, was yeah. The, the landmark, but it was like just like an unrelated topic right. to the sexuality of the picture, and he's like, I bet you that guy. If that like you know like if yeah. anyone had a chance out of those comments, he's like that guy had that a guy chance. He's like chance. I salute that guy, yes. and I'm like yo, but like that's so at least in my opinion, I think so, that's so, true. So, so, we have a girl here. What do you think? I feel like if a guy were to come up to me and ask me to buy them a drink, I'd at first be a little thrown off and like be like. But it'd make you intrigued. It would like it intrigues you more because like yeah. most guys come up to you and want to buy you a drink because they want something more from you. But, like, if you come up to me yeah. and you want me to buy a drink, I'm like, what the fuck do you want from me? Like, I'll buy you a drink yeah. and then maybe want to, like, get to know yeah. you or, like... Well, well even, like, a, 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 here, here's the point is that... Uh, It'd the, be a really cheap point. drink, though. She, she It'd brought, be like a bar this, rail. She brought oh, but you'd be used to oh, that. Oh, <laughs> and she brought the second point. Okay, so the, the first girl that just has an attitude with you, whatever, you know, you don't want to... You don't want to deal with that anyway. Okay, so the second girl, she says no, but... She she thinks it's funny, you know. She's like, oh, that's that's funny, but no. then do you offer to buy her a drink? Well, uh, or do you at least uh, buy uh, your uh, own uh, drink after well, that? Uh, she uh, buys I was her gonna say, you've already made her laugh, so so you're in conversation. So so yeah, I get if you buy your own drink or it's not about the drink. It's not about the drink at, at all. I feel like I the, want the whole the, drink, the whole though. thing. The whole I know. Thing, I want the drink. Too. I want the drink. The whole thing is, is is not about the drink. So the second option is yeah, she says no. But she laughs, and, and you've already started conversation, right? You're in. Well, that's like best case scenario. Or is best case scenario she buys you? The she drink. buys you the drink. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and that's the third thing. And, and I've tried. I, I I've done this. Um, back when I used to go to the bar, I, I, I tried quite a bit. I wish she told and, me and, this knowledge when I was single. I'd just and, be curious uh, to try this out. And I, I but I, I've tried it, and I, I've actually had girls buy me the drink. I'd be too self conscious to try that out. I've actually had girls buy me. I've had every Seems single awesome. scenario. I've had girls be like, "I'm not gonna buy you a drink," and I've had like girls be like, "No, but uh, I was kind of like, I, 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 you said, like a girl said to me, she was like, I no guys ever asked me that though.' But like, she liked it. Like it was a converse, yeah, like a conversation. It's a conversation starter. starter. Yeah. It's, it's not conversation just like, starter. oh, you're hot. Mm. Yeah, and then I've actually had the girls buy me the drink, and then like uh, I, I started talking with her. A bit, and then that girl, I bought her her next drink. You know, so like, uh, it, so it, she, it, 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 she it, knows it, that you're not like a broke person. Well, it's like, like more so. Like, yeah, she has to she has to pick up on the vibes first, and then she she gets to know you're not a gold digger. Yeah, because like she has uh, to pick uh, up uh, on uh, the uh, vibes. Uh, I remember the first girl that bought me the drink. As soon as I asked a question, she's busted out laughing, and she's like, "Let's go to the bar." 
Because she appreciated the fact yeah. that, like, you're just like, buy That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's genius. Because no guy had ever gone up to her and, and said that to her. We should do this, but, like, I'll ask girls to buy me drinks. Because I like girls. And then you ask girls to buy you drinks. And we can see who, like, wins the battle. You're going to win the battle because you're a hot girl. You always win the battle. See, I feel like there's a difference, too. Eddie yeah. going up and asking girls to buy them a drink, they're like, whoa, this is confidence. I go up in a bar and ask pe girls to buy me a drink, especially when I was, like, a little, and you know, 20 creep. pounds trimmer. You know what I mean? They're going to be like, this guy's fucking full of it himself. This guy's a douchebag. Fuck this fucking f f faggot. You know what I mean? I don't know. It, it might be a little bit different different coming from, from me. I, I don't know. Because I, I've only tried it with, with myself. I no, because I haven't seen other people try this experiment either. The thing is, certain things exude. I, 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 I like to see. I like to see other people go out and try it. Certain kind things of exude personality. Like when I'm at the bar with you and I see you do that, yeah. I'm be like, "Fucking Eddie, he's got balls, man. This dude's got confidence." But I feel like it's how it, like you, it. like you enunciate it, like how you like your. Like your tone, yeah. Like everything. But like at you, the same time, if we're at the bar with, I won't say his name, but our homie we were just talking about, and he went and did that, I wouldn't be like he's confident. I'd be like, oh man, he, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he he's on the he <laughs> he's on the grease again. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like. He has no shame, and it's not even a part of the game. It's like everybody just, has like their own like vibe and like. But it's like when yeah. you do it, it's like you're just like that's exudes confidence. You know. I like, would buy Eddie a I, drink if he asked me. Like, I've I never gone to the drink. bar and asked a girl to buy me a drink. That's for sure. Like when I was single and shit, no. I well, bought well, mad well, drinks well, 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 that I was not expecting to reciprocate. But I don't know how dating works because I was in a relationship from high school till like twenty seven. You know what I mean? So I'm yeah. like, oh, this is a new world for me. I guess you just buy people drinks. <laughs> I, mean, like, uh, I think I think that's how it works. Well, even it, it, it comes down to like a, even um, there's another thing at uh, the uh, bar. Sometimes like you see um, all, all the guys going after the um, like if you're gonna rank girls like a, a ten, nine, or whatever. You, you see oh yeah, the, all the guys are always going for the yeah. Uh, they're going for the nines, the eights, and, and the sevens, and sometimes they're intimidated by the, by the one girl that's the ten. That's another thing. And then, like me, like uh, like I, I, I was I, I've actually looked at like uh, a girl that uh, like looks like a ten, and I, I know there's nobody's talking to her. I've gone up to her. I was always intimidated by the ten until I messaged Lalisha. <laughs> like that. And the I first time we hung out when we were in high school, I was intimidated by the ten. I was like floored she was down to come to my crib. And then I thought it would be really cool to do a bunch of like weird drugs and get really drunk. Because I'd be like cool and high and confident. And instead, I was like really socially awkward. You really and weren't weird. that cool. See, yeah, and she came over and like yeah. was gone within like 20 minutes. And then me and my boys, Lipinski was there. We did more drugs. And it was the worst night of my life. I cried myself to sleep, yeah. rocking in my bed at four in the morning. So, yeah. And, um. But now look at us, though. Yeah. Like that one week. Then I shot the shot. Clearly. Yeah. And it worked. So, uh, but uh, there was one time that this uh, this theory of asking for the drink really didn't work out for me. Because I've seen this um, this girl, uh, she was breastfeeding and... Was it a training? Okay, wait, yeah, you yeah, asked yeah. her while she was breastfeeding if you could have a drink? Yeah. Of her tits? Whoa. Like, was it of her breast milk? I, 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 she, it, we were this didn't her. happen. This is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell once I once I once I, once I registered what you're saying. I'm like, oh, this is Netty G joke. This is a free. No, I, I, I was just uh, bringing it into the next topic. This of, is a free uh, verse, not a free style. I, 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 I was bringing it into the next topic. Oh, I was saying, um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, what do you think about breastfeeding in public? Are you the king of the segue? I mean, that was a pretty good one. That was pretty good. Can we call yeah. you Interstate Fifty One? Um, you can. No, I just call you Big Gruff. Okay, we're moving on. I so, like uh, breastfeeding in public, though. Like, there's no... You I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Like, no. There's only anything wrong with daddy? it if, like, you... The kid has to eat, like, and, like, uh, like um, I, I seen the meme. If you're a and, like, it was like, I was like, yo, like, uh, every time I've winked at a girl, well, she's breastfeeding, she doesn't, she doesn't wink back. Like, I've seen that, I laugh. Yeah, yeah I, I was like, i seen the meme, and I was like, that's pretty funny. So, like, I thought I'd bring up the No, do you know what? Um, I think women are fair to do whatever they want to do. But me, just as a man, instinctually. Like, if your boob's out, I'm looking. 
Oh yeah, for sure. You can look at a girl's boob while she's breastfeeding, but like it's not no, a sexual awkward. thing. Like because she's looking to see if people are looking at her. So every time, but I've never <laughs> not looked at a girl like. Okay, well, first off, let's just even finish that sentence because that is true. I've never not looked at a girl's boob when she's breastfeeding in right. public. Right. But they have, yeah, like, have now, like, I've looked too much. Now, to so. follow up that, I have never not been caught with an eye contact from said woman giving <laughs> breast milk to her baby in public when I have looked. That awkward, it's quick so lock of. Awkward. Eye contact has always happened. I'm like, shit, she knew I was looking at her boob. I feel like I look at a girl's boob while she breastfeeds them. Because, like... Because boobs are beautiful. It's just a they boob. Are. Like, you just want to know what it looks like. It's earth. Yeah. It's nature. But it's not a sexual thing if she's feeding a kid. Like, you don't look no. at it in, like, a sexual... What I'm like, saying... Like, when, 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 she, scroll, like, when she catches you looking, though, like, uh, she, she's thinking, this pervert. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking at the boob. I'm not. I'm looking, looking too. I'm not. I'm not looking at a baby being fat. I'm like trying. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah, motherfucker! You stop sucking on that nipple for a second. Let me see what you're really working with. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, she, I'm like the baby's like yeah, the cock block. She, she's probably right. Like, cause I, I'm a pervert. I like boobs. It's just ingrained in your nature. Even she said it. Even women yeah. want to look at boobs. It's yeah. just boobs yeah. are beautiful. Your eyes. If you're just, walking like, around feeding like, fucking chickens from your nutsack, nobody's looking at that. Girls only have, girls are freaks when they really want to lick your nutsack. But girls aren't just like signing up to suck your nuts. It's not like every day it's like, oh, can I suck your nuts? Like this, yeah. this seems wonderful. But you'll <laughs> suck a nipple on a nice titty any day. That's Facts. true. Facts. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. because nuts just like hang out. No, because like, women are that, beautiful. Like, no, the barrels yes. of life. Hey, a titty yes. compared to a nut though is so different because like your nuts just like hang out in like that whole like sweaty, gross atmosphere. Where like a tit is like, it's just there and it's just like. As long as it's not hairy, I'm. I'm no, it's good. boobs. It's just. It's just there though. Some like, guys like butts over boobs, but. It's just like. I like, think they're a border line away from. Being bisexual. What? Girls. Well, because anyone, everyone has butts. A nice butt, right. cool, whatever. You know what I mean? But and that's one thing I always got offended by. I've had girls in the past tell me I had a flat ass or like not compliment my ass and every time i'm just like i don't want a nice ass yeah i i i, I the last like, thing i want you know, is you to I'm, walk by and be like oh, that's a nice ass like that's fucking <laughs> weird yeah I, i've had girls tell me I'm, i have a, a flat ass. i'm like good cool like yeah i don't i don't want to have a nice but ass. it bothers me that you're looking for ass <laughs> that's weird that's a trait you compliment on females but at the end of the day what is the most Loving, nurturing, female mm -hmm. organ. What? That men do not have. Boobs. Well, I got boobs, but they're kind of different. You got what? I got boobs. But no, you got you got moobs. They're man boobs. I feel like it's like nipples, because like, no nipples aren't just nipples. Is it like the same sensation though? Like I wonder for like a no. Girl. When you see a dude playing volleyball at the beach with the shirt off, you're not like look at those nipples. No, no. But you see a girl like okay, naked so you're like at the saying beach, like you're if like, you're like out damn, and like there's a guy over? who's like you're looking at a guy and like you want to know what you're looking at him that's attractive that a girl could maybe have. What? Because they're saying like nipples you don't look at. No, I'm guy. just saying everyone has butts, but only girls have boobs. Yeah, I guess. That's why they're the more attractive trait. I was just saying, like, there's the argument some guys are butt guys, other guys are boob guys. Guys have butts, too. This is the point I'm trying to make. I don't really necessarily uh, think guys uh, having butts uh, matters. There was actually uh, a You could have the flattest uh, butt in the world, but if you had a chiseled six-pack, you're hot. Really? I don't have a chiseled six-pack. I'm talking about guys. Um, John, guys are basically judged on one standard. That's why I'm like, yo, when girls start talking about butts, I'm like, the fuck out of here. Butts are for gay guys right? to talk about. Like, oh, that's a nice butt. You're fucking the butt. Well, 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 well it's, not, it's, it's not even it's like It's funny uh, that you actually say that, though, because John, do you know who John, is it Legend? Yeah. The singer? So there was a... I got a point I want to bring back. Did you see the meme? And no disrespect to the gay community, by the way. Uh, the gay there was like a meme post that. about him, and if I can find it, you can put the actual picture up. I'm just saying. Um, and it was the fact it said something like how uh, John Legend carries everything for his wife, even her ass. And he's oh, I like, seen that. Did yeah. you see that? And I he's not that. like the ass, like 
fucking like sculpted butt and like hers is like psh. okay so uh but on uh on the other side of it um what what, what girls look at this like, is it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I seen that. I thought that was a meme. That's a real image. Do you see it? It's not a flattering picture of her though. That's mean. Yeah. And you know what? At the end of the day, maybe John Legend does have an ass. Like maybe he has but, uh, a bad gay ass. So, 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 the way you know I look what? at it is, but, I don't have an ass. I don't have a. But do you know what? It don't matter what his ass is like, cause he's comfortable with his sexuality. He's mm -hmm. looking at this girl like she's a nice built female. I don't need her to have a nice plump butt. But, uh, so... We're not playing bottom and top okay, here. Okay, so, so so we're saying, like, uh, guys have something to look at um, when, when we look at girls' boobs, right? But I remember I was joking around with this girl, and she was like, she was like, oh, I, I have um, small Ds. And I, I made a joke, and I'm like, I got a small D, too. And she's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, how do you know? And she's like, I, I look at the bulge. So so guys look at the, look at the boobs. One thing I'm curious about... Girls you have two kinds of females. And girls, girls will look at the, uh, the bulge in your pants. You have the kinds of females who act like that is beneath them. What? And then you have the other kinds of girls who are just straight up open, like, oh, yeah, I was looking at the bulge. Like, very open about their sexuality. The question I have to ask is, is it because of, like, a mental impression kind of built on you to be a lady from, like, a young what, age? What, like on a bulge? Or? Well, just, like, some girls, like, act like that's, like, repulsive or that's, like, you Like know, a bulge? Like, in your pants? Yeah, but, like... The point I'm making is, you have certain girls who just come out and open and be like, oh yeah, you seen that guy's balls? Like, you know what I mean? Who are just yeah. like super open, like they're like guys sexually. And yeah. then you have a lot of girls who aren't, like even yourself. I feel like I've never you're sexual, been like, oh, like, but you're not like, bulge. you're not like obnoxiously sexual like men are. Mm -hmm. But there's some women who are. Well, well, you, you never, and that's you, the kind of shit they You never look at a guy and said, oh. Like, you don't oh, look at the balls and look be look like, oh, balls, I bet yeah. he's got a big dick. No, I don't actually think I have. I feel like I've never actually looked at, like, a man's, like, area and been like, That's oh. what I was curious about. Because there's some men who, because they know a few women who are like that, think all women are like that. And I personally think it's a small percentage of women who are like that. I do think, though, a lot like, of like, women I have met attractive. guys. I feel like I've met guys who I've, like, looked at and been like, you would have a big whatever. And then, like, you're disappointed or like it's not quite as big yeah. as like you think it would be but like i've never actually like oh wait looked... so you slept with guys because you thought they were better endowed no no i well then how, why were you disappointed then i've never actually had like one night stands but i've like dated guys you like, yourself i've here. looked at like the figure of like a male is body. my dick smaller than you thought it would be no actually yours was bigger than i thought it would be where do I rank on the list of dicks? Like oh, on a one shit. to ten? Yeah. Like a nine? That's pretty good numbers right there, eh? Let's make noise yeah. for fucking nine. But Jerking off since ten years old helps. But what I'm saying though is like if like if you like meet a guy or like so say if like I, you I met like a really like short like puny you know. guy and you're like, oh like his dick's small or like whatever, like you, Oh, they have the big dicks. And then yeah, yeah. but like friends or like anything like me being the type of girl I am too like I'm friends with a lot of guys like you meet guys who have small dicks who are short I just assume any dude who's short has a small dick mm, I don't know really well you'd probably know much better than I would I feel like you <laughs> assumed it a little better than but I did but if I rate a 9 is this out of 10? It's a, out of a nine. You rate perfect. Oh, shut up. Alright. But, like, not <laughs> not trying to stroke your boyfriend's ego to not offend them. Where do I really rank on this list? Your dick. Size. Size? <laughs> it's changing from a nine. I feel like you can't really, like, an like, I feel like you have to Oh, answer. you had a lot to say about it until I put you in the spot. No, I feel like I would say, like, I would actually say more than a nine is what, like, I was trying to get at. Because, like, I look at it in the, like, perspective of, like, how when we have sex, like, how it feels and, like, the size of Were it. Were you disappointed when you see my dick? No, not at all. When I whipped it out, you weren't like, oh, shit, I expected a little more than that. Well, no, when you first whipped it out, I turned you down. 
We don't need to talk about that. Okay, so... But... And I said no. No, you know what we Okay, should. let's actually yeah. talk about that, though. Like, girls and that you've ever had sex with, or, like, tried to have sex with, like, do they turn you down the first time? Because I turned him down. It's a turn-on when they turn yeah. you down. Yeah. I turned him sure. down. First. And then, like, I felt sure bad, and, like, the next day I'm just like, oh, I'm like, I'm so sorry, like, I hope you want to hang out with me Yeah, it again. took me a little bit of coaxing, because at first I'm like, oh, she's just trying to be, like, nice. She just wants to be friends, it's whatever. And then, like, she kept telling me she was sorry, and I'm like, she wouldn't go this excessive if she didn't mean it. So I'm like, all right, well, let's chill again then. I feel like maybe I'm not being played as I a feel sucker. like it was a little excessive, though. Like, you don't try to sleep with someone on the first night. Like, yeah, you well, you invited you me to come sleep in your bed. No, what does that no, say to you? no, no. I'm going to bed. No. You can keep watching TV if you want, or if you want, you could come sleep in my bed with me. It's got plenty of room. Okay, no. How do you take that? I'm like, all right, I'm getting pussy. I, yeah. I feel like that was that's, not that's exactly how it was worded. I feel well, like that's it was why worded the Me Too more movement so. exists nowadays, and people are getting imprisoned mm -hmm. for I, touching people's mm -hmm. butts ten years ago. I feel like it was worded because nobody's just more so honestly. that like you could. No, I told you, I'm like, with whatever, like, is going on, like, you're more than welcome to stay here anytime you want. I'm like, you can come sleep in bed with me if you want to, like, sleep in a bed. Yeah, you toss or, that option. Or you can come sleep on the couch. But, like, And see, to me, know? that's you feeling out if no. I want to fuck or not. Is that really, though? Is yeah, really? I'm like... Uh, that's how I would take it. Yeah, I'd like, be like, oh. take that as an invite She's to giving fuck. me the option. So she, like, if I yeah. sleep on the couch, she's thinking I'm not really that interested. This is just a friendly thing. But she's kind of yeah. opening the invite there, like, if you want to come sleep in bed. So I'm like, oh. And then I said no. We know why I'm here. Two years later. <laughs> no. That's why we're never going to have sex. Now you get mad when I don't sleep in bed. Because now I want I get dead. yelled at. Now I, I want the D. Yelled now I'm just like, where's like, the sorry, D? Sorry, I was watching Suits. And I'm high. I can't do coke on a Monday night. Now I'm just asleep at 11 because I'm high. I'm sorry. And, and, and like, uh, that right suits. there, it, it comes down to how, how um, uh, guys think and how, uh, how, how girls think. Guys are very simple and direct. No, let him go. Let him go yeah. with this. I was going to say, guys are very simple and, and, and direct. And, uh... I've had it where like I'm like okay, uh, the conversation from from a girl like I'm like this girl definitely wants to do something and then I, 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 and I try it and I'm and, and, and they're like no and then the, and, and, and and like they they kind of like we have more conversation and I'm like okay like so okay so for instance like uh, I I invited this girl a, a, a little while ago right we we were talking. On, on, on some sexual shit, and uh, and she's like, you know what? I haven't been out in a in a very long time. I haven't been out with anybody. And it'd be nice to go out. Okay, we were just talking about sexual stuff, right? And then she, out of nowhere, just brings up that she hasn't been out with anybody in a while. So, so I said right after that, I said, hey, do you want to do something this weekend? Uh, I, you I, took I, the line. Yeah, I, I, but like she but then, initiated but then, but, like the but, sexual part of that though. But maybe she was just reading the situation. But okay, so uh, it's an aggressive way to do it. But but then like uh, I just told you, you could it, sleep it, it, maybe in my bed or the couch. She said yes, and then and then and then she just didn't message me or anything like that. She didn't she didn't want to come out. But if you didn't want to come out, why? I, I, in, in that situation, and anybody thinks, okay, you, you're talking about some sexual stuff, and then the other person says, "Hey, I haven't been out for a while." What you're is, taking that as like, a, what, what is the next that's person's a fucking invite? Like, that's, that's an invite, an invite what, what is, for it. So then, like, so me as the guy, I'm thinking, okay, she wants to come out, but from her perspective, she's thinking, I, I, I don't, I'm, 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 I'm a girl, I, I can't think of think like a girl. But I don't know what she was thinking. But from the conversation, it made me think that she wanted to come out. Yeah. I feel like that would make me feel like I wanted to come out. Like yeah, if someone's like a, talking like sexual to you and like inviting you over and like to hang out or like trying to come over and like being all sexual about it. It's like, like you almost know what that is. I don't even like that. That's not fun. When like, you know what I mean, you're talking to someone and it's like just like sexual shit and then you're like 
Because it's like the pressure's on. Well, it's like now I'm like expected to just like walk in the door like the fucking naked pizza boy on Pornhub and like strip down. No. My six okay, pack's wait. supposed to Whoa. flex out What's of my shirt. What's wrong with naked pizza? And my boner's already supposed to be hard and yeah. you're just supposed to hop like, it's like this ain't a fucking porno. Cool, you can talk all that sex shit, but now it's awkward when I gotta like come in the grip like, hey, I got McDonald's. What's <laughs> up? <laughs> I've been smoking butts on the way I here. Like I smell it's like only, shit. I like, feel awkward if, like, you make it awkward. Like, you can make it... Yeah. yeah. I feel like it's easier for a girl to make it not awkward, because, like, a girl can show up in, like, nothing but a coat. Yeah, exactly. And, like, she's like, have y'all. lingerie. But, like, I can't guy, just, like, walk in the door and drop my pants, and then it's like, oh, I just wanted to have You can, thing. though. You can. Like, guys don't realize that. Like, you actually physically, like, you yeah, have not that if you, ability. If you're not afraid of being attacked by the Me Too movement... <laughs> Right. First two times oh, I had on. sex, I was accused of yeah. rape. I ain't doing nothing that's borderline Sexual the rest of my life. I'm like, all right, I need full Sexual consent. Harassment? You need to sign these papers. Yeah. As, oh, oh, so, oh, okay, oh, oh, oh. so like I feel like you have to have like a certain uh, understanding because like for a guy to a girl, like a girl can show up and like drop her drawers and like a yeah. guy will be like, that's it. All right, like, cool. So, 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 so here's one thing, though. Like, sexual harassment depends on if the girl like uh, 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 for uh, they're saying a, a guy is sexually harassing a girl it, it really depends on how the girl feels about the guy because um i, I i've heard like girls say um oh th this guy said to me, this this to me he's a he, he, he's a fucking pervert fucking I, I i don't i don't like that and i'm thinking I've said worse to this girl. Yeah, or you let dudes who you yeah. like say way nasty shit. I, I've said way worse to this girl, and like, and she had no problem with me saying it, but when this other guy said it that she doesn't like, it's so like, uh... It's like her relationship, like, her, like, trust with you is, like, what dictates, Which is cool, like, and I get that. Yeah. Like, I'm not saying that any guy should be able to say whatever they want, right. but I just... But it is it's based on... You're in a weird spot, oh, man. Like, men aren't really allowed yeah. to be men anymore. Like, you're not. Like, I don't no, disagree with that, though, because I feel like it's if true. you, like, walk down the street, like, a guy, like, smiles and says hello to you, like, you automatically like think, like, pervert. they're hitting on you. Yeah. Back in the days before cell phones and Tinder and shit, like, that's how you met people. Yeah. Now it's creepy to be a human being. It is. It takes yeah. way more confidence to say hey to someone in public than it does to swipe right. That's all I'm saying. So if that's creepy, then it's like, what, that's the funny thing, it's like, that's why I could never rock with Tinder and shit when I was single, because I'm like, this yeah. is trash, like, this is like, to me this is life. not human. And like, actually think about it though, like, the opposite sex, like, who do you have, like, Kirsten, yeah, who was like, that's my amazing, girl. like, she's like an opposite sex friend, but like, opposite sex friend that like, you know that you can actually like hang out with and like you can like joke around with yeah. without like them taking what you say in a sexual the wrong manner way. or vice versa. Yeah. Yeah, right. like, yeah I've liked Kirsten, that's pretty much it. Jess is cool. But I still wouldn't like I wouldn't make certain jokes with her that I would make with Kirsten. Because you're still worried about how someone will feel about things. Kirsten right. really. Is the only it's one. like the only person. Like I know anything we ever said, Dan. Like nothing would ever be taken the wrong way. Yeah. You know what I mean. But I even feel Shout like. Shout out to Kirsten. Let's make some noise for Kirsten. Fucking Kirsten. She's Fuck amazing. Kirsten. She's my G. But um, yeah, man. You know. So it's fucking uh, weird. It's weird. But I even feel like as a female though, like to end this off, is like walking down the street. I will like there's guys who will like smile or like say hello or like anything and like I don't know how to take it in like a normal like hey like we're just being friendly or like a sexual like we're trying to pick you up or like whatever like I've made friends at work from people who have literally like just walked around the yard and like said hello to me it's it's like actually unfortunate that you can't like have a friendship vibe because well, you're a male and a female I feel the same way but, I mean, things complicate things, you know what I mean? Because everyone just wants to fuck. Well, no, not even. It's just everyone assumes that. And, it's like, uh, if, I, if I had developed uh, a new friend who was a female that you never met tomorrow, you would start feeling the way about it. Because you'd be like, well, who's this girl? I never heard of her. Why are you entertaining her? Well, even It'd I, be uh, like the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, vice versa. Uh, 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 it's uh, uh, like, one last thing, like, uh, I, I, we were just talking about... Um, on the button podcast when they said uh mall playing this a, a single role and I, and they brought up like uh when, when, when you're a single guy almost not 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 every single girl but 
almost all girls think because you're single that you're attracted to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you're available. Yo, that was the. See, that's a whole and, other topic. And I, I have it all the time. I'm like, I'm like, I, girls, I'm not even attracted to that think I am because I'm single. Yeah. No, being single is trash yeah. for that reason. So. Because yeah. they were so right when they said that. I'm like, they hit the hammer on the nail. Like, I remember being single. And there was girls I wanted no parts of, and they thought they had like some control over me or something. Yeah. They thought I wanted them. I'm exactly. like, this bitch is crazy. Like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck? All right, episode 66.